Yo bro, thanks for clicking this video. Do you know how rich is Jay-Z? So Sean Carter, popularly known as Jay-Z, is the first billionaire rapper in history. In this video, I'm gonna explain how the dude from Marcy Housing Projects, one of the dangerous neighborhoods in the world, was able to accumulate a net worth of more than $1 billion. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out big time. Go ahead and click the subscribe button and turn on the notifications, bro. In 2019, Forbes estimated Jay-Z to be worth $1 billion. From selling drugs off the corner to being placed on the Forbes list is something you gotta learn from. Jay-Z owns a lot of expensive shit bro, from cars like Pagani Zoda to one of one made back Acceleron with a price tag of $8 million. But those stuffs don't make you rich bro, we're talking about things that bring you a lot of money, assets that make Jay-Z so rich. At number 9, we got Rockefeller Records. Jay Z started Rockefeller Record Company in 1996 with two other friends. Though they sold it for $1.5 million to Def Jam, he still owns the publishing rights to his music. Jay Z music catalog hits close to 1 billion streams annually, which is valued at $75 million. In just about 10 years, Jay Z has earned over $500 million from his music career and loan. The thing is, quite some rappers sell more records than Jay Z. But they don't own their master recordings, so all that money they get from sales goes to their record company and they usually pay just a small percentage of that money. Number 8. Uber Jay-Z invested $2 million in the ride-sharing company back in 2013 and then wired Uber an extra $3 million in hopes that he would get a larger stake in the company. Though Uber declined the $3 million by returning the back, now Uber is worth $77 billion and the $2 million Jay-Z invested in the company is now worth $70 million. That's a 35-fold return, bro. Damn! Number 7. Art In the story of OJ, Jay-Z raps. I bought some artwork for one million. Two years later, that shit worth two million. So the thing is, Jay-Z owns a lot of art. His collection is estimated at around $70 million. But the most popular we know he has in his possession is the Basiak 1982 Mega Piece, which is an art showing New York skyline. He bought it for $4.5 million and it's just about time for a piece like that to get more valuable. Yellow Basquiat in my kitchen corner. Go ahead, lean on that shit blue. You own it, huh? If you're enjoying the video so far, give your brother a thumbs up. Number 6. Real Estate Bro, Jay-Z owns $50 million in real estate. He has a penthouse in Tribeca which he bought for $6.8 million, Oceanfront Miami Estate for $9.3 million, East Hampton Estate priced at $26 million, a Bel Air mansion which he purchased for $88 million and a historic church in New Orleans for $2.6 million. And you know what they say about real estate, it can only go up. Number 5. Monogram Jay-Z has his own cannabis lineup called Monogram. He teamed up with California-based weed company Caliver to launch his lineup in 2019. Caliver is said to buy Jay-Z Monogram and partner with him. He is now the chief brand strategist of the company Caliver and he has 5 million shares in the company, which secures him $25 million in stocks and 7.5 million annual returns. Not only does he get high, but his bank account gets high too, bro. <laughs> I'll have to ask my accountant about that. Number four, do say. I do say is the shit. If I do say so myself. If I do say so myself. Yo, Jay Z has a joint venture with the beverage giant Bacardi producing do say, which is valued at $120 million. The revenue of this company has grown 80% annually since Jay Z came on board and moves almost 200,000 cases every year. Number 3. Rock Nation If you ever see this logo around, that's Rock Nation, man. Rock Nation is an entertainment company founded by Jay-Z in 2008. It houses food service, talent agency, management, clothing line, touring, media relation, publishing, music school, philanthropy, sports, exhibition network, and more. The first artist to sign to Rock Nation was J. Cole back in February 2009. And many other artists have also signed to Rock Nation, including Lil Uzi Vert, Alisa Keys, McMill, Big Sean, T.I., and also Rihanna, to name a few. Rock Nation Sports is a subsidiary under the parent company Rock Nation, currently boasting a roster with over 100 athletes, 
across baseball, basketball, American football, international football, rugby, and esports. As of 2021, Rack Nation is valued at an estimate $140 million. Number 2. Tidal Streaming Service Jay-Z dropped $56 million to purchase Tidal in 2015. Two years later, he flipped the investments for $200 million by selling 33% stake in the company for cell phone provider Sprint in 2017. His venture now represents $100 million in Jay-Z's net worth and he retains his shares of the ownership today. So like Sprint provides Tidal free for their customers, which is about 45 million people. So 45 million people indirectly are subscribed to Tidal. That's some business moves, bruh, since Tidal is worth $600 million now. Number 1. Ace of Space Armand de Brainac Champagne, popularly known as Ace of Space. Yeah, Jay-Z used to own 100% of Ace of Space. He bought the brand in 2014 for $200 million. Yeah, $200 million. The hip-hop entrepreneur has made a total of $300 million when he sold half the company to Moise Hennessy. The Ace of Spade brand is now worth roughly $630 million. This is Jay-Z's most successful venture currently worth $310 million of Jay-Z's total net worth. So there you go, this is how rich Jay-Z is. And I would say combined with his wife's net worth of $500 million, that's a family I wish I was born in bro. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments which of Jay-Z investments do you think will pay off big time. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Peace out, bruh. And I want to tell Blue that, look, daddy got a gold sippy cup for you. Jumping off the stage,